but they did why the heat wave is so dangerous for gender non-conforming people. Yeah. And <clears throat> I, I, did you read this one, right? Of course. Uh, I shouldn't have sent it to you because I kind of actually wanted you to. I wanted you to guess because I go. I don't think you could guess why. Like the 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 reason. I, I couldn't have guessed. I, see honestly, what I'm saying? I, when I read it, I go where? Like they if going? you're at home where right now, with this? think to yourself. You go I- exactly. You go where are they going with this? They go the heat wave's way worse for gender non-conforming people. And you're thinking like, is it because they're saying they like live in they can't afford air conditioning? That's what like, I, that I was, was kind of thinking my, something like yes. that. Maybe if they make less money. They can't afford air conditioning. Something like that. That's you know what, what I mean? I, that's a hundred. They what do I more jobs outside or I, you, you're no, trying because I don't think that. And then they go. The reason is they said because when it's hot, they have to wear skimpier clothes. Like, you know, like they're wearing gayer <laughs> clothes, essentially, and they're saying they get harassed on the street. Because of this heat wave, I have to wear a mesh crop top. <laughs> That's li- exactly what the article is. It was like, it's, it's a guy and he goes, a trans person, he says he's, or I guess trans woman, he goes, highlighted how heat can bring challenges to them because of heightened risk of abuse. And he says, my attempt to keep cool in the heat is met with shouts of, F A G G O T, they said, and freak, yeah. which seems, you know, I don't think in any metropolitan city, like people, you see this, you know, f- tenants, people dress like this every minute. So I don't For think, sure. you know, and if you do get people yelling at you, it's a homeless person that was yelling at everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. And not to say that they, they're right for yelling at everybody, but it ain't unique, you know what I mean? But they go, and stares on the tube are directed to me for my outfit choices, which <laughs> legitimately is. <laughs> their argument is that they get to wear a parka in the winter and no one can see them, which they probably aren't wearing a parka in the winter. But then in the summer, she's got they're it. Like wearing a, they're a wearing a couple with the nipples cut out. They're, yeah. In the <laughs> summer, they've got a thong on. Yeah. And then like a mesh top with their nipples showing and stuff like that. Or, you know, the, the new nipples showing. Which is like pretty standard, like what gay people dress like a in lot the of city. So often in the city. But that is, like, I just, I couldn't believe it even getting there. And then you go, what are you even proposing where you go, change the weather? Yeah. There's not even really any, I guess this I guess all fits under cl- climate change. Yeah, global warming. Yo, if global warming continues and to get worse, but also global warming makes it cooler when it's cool, right? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make, so it's like, well, it sort of evens out, so it doesn't even really like work that way because you go, oh, when it's winter, it's actually, you get to cover up more. Yeah, you get to cover up more. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't even get to go outside. It's so cold. It was just like the most non- like, Well, uh, what about this? What if climate change gets so bad you could just never go outside? That's a win for them. I think that's what you it is. You never go outside. <laughs> Big win. <laughs> Big win. So ex- exactly. If it goes far enough, you're back to square one <laughs> of it being good, right? <laughs> Fellas, this is the new Clips channel. Right now, we're at 3K. Hit us with a subscribe. Let's get those numbers up. Very much appreciated. Let's get to 5K at the very least. All right. Thank you. Peace.